Hey, good morning, everybody. It's me again. I got a short talkie for you today. I'm gonna answer the question of one of my viewers. Uh, haven't got no session for you because uh, I've been watching the YouTube and nobody's making any. Uh, other than magnitude, nobody's making any. Uh, I'm not seeing anything for hardly anybody. Magnitude is the only one keeping people interested in the paranormal at the time being. And uh, I don't know why. Uh, but I'm not going to bust my ass every day making videos if nobody's going to watch them. And you know, like I said, it's, it's pretty dull right now. Maybe it's between summer and winter. And, uh, when it gets here, here, things will pick up. But I'm going to sort of back off for a while myself, I think. Anyway, some uh, one of my uh, viewers asked me what my clan was. I said, my clan... I don't know if he was referencing me playing World of Warcraft or Diablo 3 or... I don't know. <laughs> but if he was, I don't belong to any of them. I don't belong to none. Uh, he's talking about my name, or me, myself. Uh, my One of my daughters has delved into ancestry pretty deeply. And it's found that our last name uh, comes from the Brits, comes from Northumberland. And my last name is Bailey, B-A-L-E-Y. Somebody dropped the I sometime along the list of, you know, couplings. <laughs> uh Somewhere along the line, they dropped the the eye. Like I guess they wanted to be different, or hell, he knows why. You know why people do things. But it originally was B A I L E Y, and they dropped the eye. Well, Bailey, the name itself originated, I think, in, like I said, Northumberland. And it goes all the way back to 1200s or earlier. And it came about as a combination of a couple of different names. And it was put together and ended up Bailey. And it, it said there's different pronunciations of it today and different spellings of it today. But it all originated there. And there's a, a bunch of them that broke off from Britain and they moved to Ireland. So there's also a bunch of Baileys that come from Ireland. And I, unless you're really, really great in ancestry, I don't know how you would know where you came from, whether you came from, originated in <laughs> in England or in Ireland. I don't know. But anyway, a lot of those uh, ones from England, they migrated, of course, to the United States. They migrated all over the different places. 1600s and in the 1800s. And, uh, I found, uh, she found references to all kinds of different places where they migrated and <laughs> I thought it was funny in 1800s some James Bailey was his name migrated to Allegheny Pennsylvania now we all know what's in Allegheny Pennsylvania the crazy house you know <laughs> the insane asylum what a better place for somebody with my name or, or me <laughs> is in Allegheny <laughs> but I thought it was interesting is that yes my middle name is James. <laughs> this guy's name was James. So, maybe I'm named after this guy that <laughs> migrated to the Allegheny Santa Asylum place. <laughs> that would be fitting. That would be fitting for me. <laughs> but, yeah, that's where I think I originate. And, uh, there's a lot goes along with that name castle wise I guess there was I heard there was a King Bailey I don't know if that's true uh, there was a lot of important positions that people with the last name of Bailey held I know that and this is a Bailey castle and it's a very early castle and it's a Bailey Bailey moat castle a moat Bailey castle however you want to say it You'll notice that there's a moat all the way around here in the water. 
it encompasses this place. And down here in the lower left uh, corner of the screen, you'll see there's a drawbridge. And it goes into this round area at the bottom. You see a couple houses in there with the smokestacks and stuff. That is the Bailey. I think this place eventually might have turned into what we would call nowadays a courtyard. But this was the Bailey. And this is where the soldiers lived. Separate from the castle. Uh, they lived in the Bailey. And there was a set of steps. And of course you see this big mound that the, that the main castle is built on. And that's surrounded by water. Your moat. And then they, this, this big mound that the castle is built on was also considered part of the moat. Uh, and the castle itself was called the keep. The safest place in the castle is the keep, which would be at the top of this moat, surrounded by a wall, surrounded by the water, surrounded by this la massive land hill, hill, hill around it, and that's the keep. That's the safest part of the castle. So this is referred to as a moat bailey castle. That's well, something for you to learn, I guess. <laughs> See, I got another picture of it. Here we go. It sort of explains it. <coughs> I got a cough. <coughs> wow. Hey. I'm still trying to recover from that not breathing stuff. I'm still coughing up stuff. I'm not over it yet. Or you get the longer it takes to get rid of stuff, I guess. But anyway, that's a diagram. You've had plenty of time to look at it of what an old one of the first uh, castles were. Uh, I think even later on, they still were built this way, except where you had this one look, little looking, little small looking keep up here on top of this hill was actually a big big full-blown castle uh, and the bailey here was spread out like a courtyard a lot bigger area and uh, and then the moat was just a small deep channel of water around to the outside of the whole thing it wasn't like this thing is sitting here and it looks like sitting in the middle of a lake but Nonetheless, this is a depiction of a very early castle. So I thought that was interesting. Uh, that's all I got for you today. A talkie. And I'm going to let you go. I uh, wanted to answer that question when somebody asked me. I try to answer questions when people answer, ask me questions. Uh, I always wanted to get one of those DNA uh, searches done. And if you go to ancestry.dna you can get your you can get your DNA checked there, and it comes back with a big detailed report of uh, your how much percent you are uh, this and how much percent you are that. My mom always told me I was Pennsylvania Dutch. Well, <laughs> as I told you earlier, that one James Bailey migrated to Pennsylvania, Allegheny, Pennsylvania. So that may or may not be true, but uh, I thought that it would be nice to do my DNA and it costs a hundred dollars to have that DNA test done and the only thing I don't mind the hundred dollars that way you get a detailed description of your ancestry of where you came from which is nice but if they would just not be so cheap about it I mean they don't give you anything after you know they send you your kit and you swab the inside of your mouth you put it in a tube you send it back and so many days or so the results are posted on the internet well, I guess that's all fine and dandy. But if I'm going to pay $100 to have my DNA check, I want a, you to send me a damn printed out in a folder copy of my test results. I don't want to go on the, have to go on the internet and read it. Then i got to have a printer. I don't have one. And i got to print all that stuff off the internet. Uh, that's what's held me up doing it. Anyway, 
10 minutes, that's long enough for your life. Uh, I may make a, another session here uh, in a few days. Uh, depends what I see going on. And so far, I'm not seeing anything going on. I'm not seeing uh, hardly any paranormal sessions going on. Uh, Austin's quit. Uh, the wizard makes one once in a great while. And it seems like everybody else is just making one once in a great while. And here I am banging them out every two or three days. And I guess that's going to stop. I don't have no way to try and keep up with so. It is what it is. It will be what it is. And I'll, I'll catch you next time. Whenever it is. Thanks for watching. Toodaloo.